Uh, could you give me a summary of the case, please? He had a necrogenity um, right side mouth division and left leg uh, weakness and also uh, uh, your uh, right eyes, your right eyes were, was also deviated to the right side. Sure. So this uh, man was brought in 27-year-old unconscious uh, and uh, he had left-sided weakness. So through the work we do for over the past three years, we have solved hundreds of cases, um, acute and non-acute, uh, covering almost all specialties in medicine. Uh, we're privileged to say that we, the turnaround time is less than four hours in emergency scenarios. And one of the emergency cases I remember is last year that came in from one of the hospitals in Aleppo in uh, northern Syria. There was a child who was in coma, was suffering from diabetic emergency, and they didn't know what protocols to follow. When they sent me a case, I was working in A&E, I saw my phone, that the pictures came in, the video came in, and I immediately sent it to one of the specialists, pediatric specialists. And within minutes, the pediatric specialist uh, provided a protocol of how to treat that emergency, and I sent that back to doctors in Syria. The next day, I received another video of that child walking. Uh, I think that was something that I will treasure with myself for life. Of course, there are many challenges along the way, such as political governance, uh, data and so on, which we have solved uh, in the background. But the simplest outcome is that one specialist is talking to another specialist on mobile phones and they can do it even if they move around or if they're sitting at home and during their free time or whether it's an emergency scenario.